for more tutorials, videos, and reviews, check out creatingtracks.com. Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and this is what we're gonna do today. Okay, so let's dive into Serum. And in the Serum, I'm gonna to go to Menu and click on Initialize Preset. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn on the second oscillator. And we're only gonna be using the first two oscillators, or just these two oscillators, uh, just the way they are by default. So let's go into the second oscillator and turn the unison on seven. And then we're gonna detune this a little bit and maybe uh, yeah. And then in the, in the first oscillator, we're going to pitch this down by two octaves. And that's basically it for our oscillators. So let's go and turn on the sub oscillator and click on this direct out so that no effects are affecting it. Pitch this down by two and that's our sub. And then we can turn on the white noise, click on our grab a analog ARP white and turn the level down and we're going to use one of these um one of the envelopes down here to control the level so let's go into the third envelope or yeah let's go shape our envelopes first so the third envelope and i'm going to click and drag on this top right point right here and i'm going to click and drag this down to about the middle line which is in the middle right here and then click and drag this middle point a little higher and maybe increase the release. And then we can grab that, put it on the level of our noise, click and drag this little blue icon and click it, click and drag it down. So every time we play our sound, the white noise is gonna also play by a little bit. And then we can go and shape our first envelope, which is our main sound, click and drag this down and pretty much do the same thing that we did with the third one. Click and drag that up increase the release a bit and that's our main sound and then the second envelope will do the same thing increase the release and this one I'm going to click and drag it to our filter cutoff so in our filter we can we're going to select the we're going to turn that on turn on the B oscillator as well and I'm going to use the standard MG low 12 bring down the or actually increase the drive a little bit and then we can click and drag this second envelope to our cutoff and then click and drag that down a little bit, tiny bit. So it's going to go from the minimum to the maximum value right there. And then this is basically what we have so far. So I'm going to copy these MIDI notes and check it out. Okay, cool. So we're pretty much almost there, but we're going to grab our uh, warp knob on the first oscillator, click on that menu and select the sync. And this is what it does. All right, that's really cool. And we're going to control this knob later on with our macro. So I think that's pretty much it for the sound design. And we're going to go to the effects tab. I'm going to only use four effects. So uh, hyperdimension, distortion, chorus, and the compressor. So in the hyperdimension, I'm going to turn down the size and turn up the mix to about halfway, actually, 12 o'clock. And I'm going to turn up the drive on my distortion and turn the mix down to about one o'clock or two o'clock. And all these effects I'm gonna use very minimally. So even in the chorus, I'm not gonna change most of these parameters except for the mix and bring that down to about 10, 12% or something like that. The lesser you do, the, the more enhanced the sound gets. So um, turn on the multiband in my compression and I'm gonna bring down the threshold and you can see it on the, on the right side 
it changes when we bring that down. So bring it down to about 11 o'clock. I'm going to bring down the ratio to about 1.9 or 2. And bring the attack down to a little higher than 0. 0.3 sounds good. And... Alright, cool. So, here is everything together. Alright, so we're pretty much done with this, except for the macros. So we can click on this, on these macros, on these plus signs over here. And I'm going to grab the first one, place it on the sink, turn it up all the way. So now we can control the sync with that. The second one I'm going to place on my on the cutoff and bring that down a little bit. Yeah, bring it down and somewhere like that. Alright guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace!